Guys, we're gonna prep this. This is part five for uh, painting. Yes, I'm wearing pajama pants. Don't even uh, judge. It is two o'clock. I just woke up about a half hour ago. So, uh, it is what it is. But I'll change. But, uh, um, so I, I, I uh, uh, told you guys that I was gonna spray can paint it. So, what we have is a rust -Oleum two times ultra cover primer and it also says right here make sure if you do this you get the one that says also bonds to plastic and make sure it's a primer so i use the gray primer i was looking for a white one but i just used the gray one and um then for the color of the aircraft i just did a um an olive green flat and also being bonds to plastic like it says right here and uh, then I got some gloves so when I'm doing it I can hold the aircraft and it won't uh, uh, get on my hands now what you're gonna have to do to prep this aircraft is you're gonna have to see all the burrs and everything right here and all the the dry glue all on the edge of the wings and on the tail and everything you have to sand all that down before you prime it so I have my sandpaper and before you before you uh, after you're done sanding what you're gonna want to do is all the little uh, whole access to the inside you're gonna want to take some people use newspapers and some, some people use uh, like tissue paper but I'm using uh, napkins and you're gonna want to fill those holes so that none of the paint gets inside so I'm gonna get started on the sanding and I will come back with an update hey okay, guys so we got the sanding done as you can see there's still paint there but that's okay because we're going over primer we got everything smooth now there's no dry glue anywhere and uh, now we're going to do the uh, paper towels. I'm going to show you. And we're going to do another time lapse of that. All right. Okay, guys, we are done with the prepping of the plane for uh, painting. Everything's covered up. I don't know why I covered the cockpit up. It's just, you know, I don't want it turning all green. So it's not like I painted the cockpit or anything. So it's all right. Now, right here, I'm not going to film it. All I'm going to do is put some tape around it before I paint it. All right, so I would recommend using these gloves just in case you do get uh, um, spray paint on your hand. So, uh, all right, we're gonna get to priming it. Um, put a couple coats of primer on it, then a couple coats of uh, um, the paint. All right, guys. Oh, the actual color uh, that I, um, it's called a deep frost green. So this is called a, a deep frost green, so. It comes out like that, but all right. Guys, all right, we're gonna prep this. This is part five for uh, painting. Yes, I'm wearing pajama pants. Don't even uh, judge. It is two o'clock. I just woke up about a half hour ago, so uh, it is what it is. But I'll change. But uh, um, so I I, I uh. uh Told you guys that I was gonna spray can paint it. So what we have is a rust -Oleum two times ultra cover primer. And it also says right here, make sure if you do this, you get the one that says also bonds to plastic. And make sure it's a primer. So I use the gray primer. I was looking for a white one, but I just used the gray one. And um 
And then for the color of the aircraft, I just did a um, an olive green flat, and I also been bonds to plastic like it says right here. And uh, then I got some gloves. So when I'm doing, it, I can hold the aircraft and it won't. Uh, um, get on my hands. Now what you're going to have to do to prep this aircraft is you're going to have to see all the burrs and everything right here and all the, the dry glue along the edge of the wings and on the tail and everything. You have to sand all that down before you prime it. So I have my sandpaper. And before you, before you uh, after you're done sanding, what you're gonna want to do is all the little uh, hole access to the inside. You're gonna want to take. Some people use newspaper. Some some people use uh, like tissue paper. But I'm using uh, napkins. And you're gonna want to fill those holes so that none of the paint gets inside. So I'm gonna get started on the sanding, and I will come back with an update. Guys, so we got sanding done. As you can see, there's still paint there, but that's okay because we're going over primer. We got everything smooth now. There's no dry glue anywhere. And uh, now we're gonna do the uh, paper towels. I'm gonna show you, and we're gonna do another time lapse of that. All right. Okay, guys, we are done with the prepping of the plane for uh, painting. Everything's covered up. I don't know why I covered the cockpit up. It's just, you know, I don't want it turning all green. So, it's not like I painted the cockpit or anything. So, it's all right. Now, right here, I'm not going to film it. All I'm going to do is put some tape around it before I paint it. Alright, so I would recommend using these gloves just in case you do get uh, um, spray paint on your hand. So, uh, alright, we're going to get to priming it. Um, put a couple coats of primer on it, then a couple coats of uh, um, the paint. Alright, guys. Oh, the actual color uh, that I, um, it's called a deep frost green. So, this is called a, a deep frost green. So. It comes out like that, but all right, all right, bye. All right, guys. So um, right now in my garage, I'm gonna ventilate it a little bit, but it won't want because I just warmed it up with the torpedo heater. But uh, uh, so right now I got this plastic down, and we're gonna prime the aircraft. Now I did a little sliver of it, so you can see how the primer is gonna go on. But now we're gonna prime the whole aircraft. All right, so you can go ahead and do them. Okay guys, so one step closer to the actual finish of the paint. Uh, we, I like what I see so far. Um, uh, <clears throat> if you guys don't know by now, that's an inside joke. But um, prime the aircraft. Uh, definitely gonna need some sanding after the first coat. And then another coat. We'll definitely need that. Can see, can see yeah. So we're definitely gonna need another coat. I didn't, you know, I didn't think so in the garage, but now that I have better lighting, it's gonna need some sanding and it's gonna need uh, another coat before we put the green on. Don't know if I'm gonna get the green on today. Now this is the only video I'm putting up today, um, just the painting, painting part about it. Um, you know, this is my first spray can aircraft. And, I mean, model at all. It's the first time I've ever used spray cans. And just through the primer and um, how it went on. I mean, it, it goes on even. I mean, there's spots, of course. But, I mean, I mean that's with any paint. Um, I'm going to open the window, though. A little bit more than what it is. Yeah. 
Uh, I like it. I mean, there are things that I hand painted, you guys seen in the series so far, and there will be a lot more stuff that I hand paint, like the propellers and everything. The only thing I'm spray painting is uh, the body that you see right now. That's the only thing that's uh, being spray painted. And I like it. I like how it's been. I, like I said, I like how like what I see so far. Um, paper towels are nice. I still see some dry glue that I'm going to sand down just with the rest of the paint that I need to sand down. And uh, after that, I'm not going to do a video with the uh, second um, coat of primer. But I will do the sanding. I will do a time lapse in the sanding. And then I'll do a time lapse in the uh, actual color, of course. But alright, guys. Alright, let's get to that. All right, guys. So, uh, painting's done. Now I also put some body decals on. Decals that I could put on for now. Um, I am very pleased. Now the some of the body's still wet because I just because they're water slide decals. Uh, I'm very. I love what I see. I love it. I do have to touch up some of the bottom here, but uh, this paint really worked great. This is one coat, guys, and it looks as good. Two coats of primer, one coat of this, of the actual finish. Now I gotta sand some, so I'm sand some of those seams. I mean, I gotta use some putty, get some of the seams in. I'm sorry I didn't do a time lapse of the stickers. I really regret not doing a time lapse of the stickers, but it was just spare at the moment. I was going to wait till the end to put them on, but I just did the ones I could do now. But, uh, yeah, really great. And uh, there's still a lot more in this time lapse that we have to do. But I'm going to try to quit making videos every two, three hours and just, like do one section and just keep adding the videos into it and, and then make less videos for the uh, series, but cover more in one video. So, uh, yeah. Next, we'll be on to uh, probably the the landing gear and the propellers. Now, I really regret putting this in, but I had to because now I have tail sitting. But uh, we'll fix it all. We'll fix it up. This plane will be a bad-looking plane by the time we're done with everything. But uh, it looks nice now. Here's your guys' update. Last, This is the video I'm putting up for the day. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, bye, guys.